blue corner. This mixed martial artist stands six feet, three inches tall, weighing in a for nine rated heavyweight contender in the world, Augusto Sakai. Opponent fighting out of the red corner. This mix is the Demolition Man, Alistair Overeem. Over the rules, protect yourself at all times, follow my instructions. Gonna keep it clean, touch gloves, let's do it. We'll see how it plays out. This fight clock is brought, but a lot of people felt like we might get a little bit of this feeling out process early. Sakai is a very even keeled guy. You didn't expect it, but that being said, he is not at all a happy to be here. He wants to be a heavyweight champion. And off to a pretty good start tonight. Yep, he threw that right hand with ill intent, John. Good thing over him got out of the way. Nice body kick from Sakai. Oh, and a knee. Over him counters with a knee of his own. This is where both of these guys want to start throwing those nasty knees from in close. And this is what he talked about. You know, we're going to see who has the better Muay Thai, Curitiba or the Amsterdam in this fight. Or Amsterdam in this fight. Sorry, the Netherlands. Fingers inside the cage. Inside. Pretty good right hand from Sakai. And when you're fighting these guys, you got to be so aware of where your hands are when you're in close. Because they both throw knees from everywhere. That beautiful left kick. Going round one. See if it landed. Oh, nice uppercut there by Sakai. That landed. Over and took it well. You can't afford to lose in this spot. You have to win this match. You lose this fight. All oh, That's his final run to a possible Stop. UFC championship. Pause in the action due to an inadvertent groin strike. And we are back underway. Overeem, who does have a mouse near that left ear, courtesy of an earlier. Oh! Big body shot from Sakai! Why it always comes off of the upper cut. At, without landing clean of this fight, well, especially at this pace, right? He can do this. Right. Oh, nice, high. way to see it. Nice body hey, shot hey, from over him. Head position, head position, and get get those pummels. Here comes the knee. Yep, big knee by over him. He's controlling the hand. Back in motion. I need you to prioritize the trip. Right here. This is where Sakai's doing great work. Oh, nice from Sakai. Some of these shots being blocked. Over him with that good high guard, John. Not really taking him to the chin. But those body shots were nice by Augusto Sakai. Nice little quick knee from over him a moment ago. We have crossed the midpoint of round two. No, 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 no. All right, let's check in on the corner of Alistair Overeem, Cody Donovan, front and center. Good, good. He was holding the fence. He's holding the fence again, Herb. Don't worry. That's twice. Damn it. Yeah. Nice, right, Alistair. Yep, guts, guts. Yes. Head Good. position. I want you to re pummel with your right hand and give me the head position on the same side. Switch sides. Recycle that head position, please. It is interesting with no crowd to filter out the audio, a corner man can have a conversation with the referee. Absolutely. And they saw Augusto Sakai's hand go over the top of the octagon. In round one, her feet pulled it back inside. But just again, he was able to grab the top of the octagon a little bit to keep Alistair in place. Sakai's good here, right? He tries to take collar tie with his left hand and starts throwing those right hands over the top. Both of them are landing really good knees and close here. That's a big left hand from Oberyn. Sakai appeared to eat it without much issue. Oh, short elbow. Oh, nice elbow there by Sakai. 
Overeem didn't appear to love that second one as we show you the significant strike accuracy. Overeem north of... He's not a guy that's going to just be out there throwing strikes for the sake of throwing strikes. And now it looks as though Sakai has been open. Sakai's going to try to blitz here. Look, this is where he goes to work, right? He gets over him, gets side of the octagon, tries to throw a lot of strikes to overwhelm him. Very, very close round. Both rounds are real close. How do you do it? Make more kicks. They believe they have the fresher fighter. Shall see. <laughs> a lot of people have him up right now. Yeah, Mike. yeah, with that big burst, like this burst right here, is what I think is helping the Gustav hasn't even gotten to 50. Nice little combination from Sakai, punctuated with the low leg kick. <laughs> Those little sneaky ones, man, that can really shut your lights off. You've got to be very careful. Well, and it's not win mixed martial arts championships the way it does in other sports. No, Alistair just needs to be a little more active. Oh, a lot of these big shots are landing oh. for Augusto Sakai. Oh, nice uppercut. These are the reasons right here, right? This is why. The visual, like you said, John, Augusto Sakai there throws 20 strikes. Right. They may not all land clean, but he's throwing and landing. And perhaps strategically over him, trying to force some of that output so as to be the fresher fighter late, but Sakai off to a good start here, two minutes into round three. And if he's to be believed, right, the last comeback from him. Sportsman over him apologizing for the borderline shot. Well, you watch Sakai and his facial expression never changes, right? He's in there just doing his business. He's not, he's not getting affected if something goes low. He, he, he's, he has not been the guy to reach out for the fist bump one time. Right. The right. guy's just in there doing his business. Hands you know? inside the fence. Middleweight contender Derek Brunson appreciating the technical nature of this Hands heavyweight inside. main event thus far. Hands off the top. That's a couple stern warnings now from Verdeen. As Sakai expected, midway through the fight, Oprim will go to the takedown. And he gets his first one. And this is massive for Alistair. If he can finish the round here, this could be a pretty clear round for him. Minute and a half, great timing, great takedown attempt, and he got it. And now landing some good ground upon And this is fight IQ, this is experience, this is ability. He cannot allow Sakai to get back to his feet, though. He needs to control this position. Lead with the hips. Catch the feet of Sakai. Ooh. Nice up kick there by Sakai. See, Sakai's not even trying to get up, though. He pushed him away, controlled, got some distance, and didn't try to get up right away. I think this is a big mistake. Over him trying to get inside the guard of Sakai, unable to do so. Now inside that close guard, hammer fist from Sakai. Elbow to the body from Alistair. Big ground and pound by Overeem. Oh, big hammer fist there. Side control now for Overeem. We'll see if Sakai gives up the back late in the round now. That's a great finish by Alistair Overeem. Exactly what he needed. As he was falling behind in this, in this fight. And now Sakai really dealing with some blood. When you dominate, it's another game. When you let him dominate, he's, he's turning it around. You have Right here, Overeem lands a beautiful hammer fist right on the eye. We believe that's the one that cut Augusto Sakai. It was already a small cut. Yes. And Overeem lands it and opens it up. Like it was a headbutt early on that opened up a cut, but of course made worse by that hammer. Nice combination from Sakai. Need the body now. Overeem was trying to get a title shot with that right hand. Sakai continues to press forward. Oh, nice elbow in there, John. Black Beast trying to get me off the game, make me laugh here. Why, why does Derek Lewis not only like Alistair Overeem? He's... 
There was Sakai a big one from Sakai that appeared to open up a cut on the forehead. As he goes forward, Alistair's just backing up. Stop. That was cut. Alistair's just backing up and not really giving him anything back. Spinning attack nails the cup region. No coaching, no cut men. Yep, twig and berries. <laughs> Defense from Overeem and Pupil seems to be obliging here. Oh, Overeem! Overeem got a takedown, grabbed the single leg and rolled across his own back. But he had so much success here, he goes right back to that position. And not only did he have success, but Sakai doesn't even try to get back up. It's been a great fight so far. Under two minutes here to go round four. Yeah, it's been a fantastic fight. And this is exactly what Alistair Overeem needed. But he has to control this position for the remainder of this round. Or honestly, if he just kind of goes to work, I think he can find the finish from the top position. Oh, that's a big right hand. Every time he's gone for a takedown, twice, he's been able to ground Sakai. A little chopping motion there. <laughs> Can't recall having seen that before. And the great ground control again for Alistair Overeem. Sakai is not, this is where he needs to try to get back to his feet though. When there is space, you have to turn, take a single leg, do something to try to get Alistair off him. But the blood's bothering him now, John. Yeah, now bothering both guys. Nice left hand. Oh, a big hammer fist from Alistair Overeem. Oh, he has an elbow. This could be the beginning of the end. Sakai covering up. It's everything, right? It's the tough fight. It's the fatigue. Alistair Overeem has taken Augusto Sakai to places he's never been. Fact. And Sakai's struggling. He's struggling. Big round now. Big ending of this third, the fourth round by Alistair Overeem. Sakai is showing you all the toughness and heart you would like to see, but how about the pace overall from Overeem tonight? It's all that experience, John. All the experience, all the high-level experience throughout his career allowed for Alistair Overeem to make those adjustments. He was losing this round, the last two rounds to Augusto Sakai, and falls behind in the fight, and now he is dominating. Oh, that's three straight elbows. He's pushing down on the head and dropping those elbows. Sakai trying to survive to see a fifth round. Yes, oh. Bone on bone. 20 minutes down, five to go. Yeah. Over him we'll thought it. about helping Sakai up, and then he said, eh, maybe probably not the move. And I think that's good strategy. Oh, he did it again. He did the same. And look at Sakai. Sakai almost turtling away from him. This fight's going to get over. This fight's going to end. Oh, man. Three more elbows. Now a hammer fist. That is it. Alistair Overeem rallies to stop Augusto Sakai. The rebate done yet. Stop, stop. What a performance by Alistair Overeem.